All right, everybody. Thanks for your patience. To go back to how our presentation day will work, just in case you were confused, everybody's going to come in on the 15th of September. Everybody's going to sign up on the board. There will be one side for Tuesday, one side for Thursday. So one for the 15th, one for the 17th. You will sign up in the order that you would like to go for both days. There will be a number like 1 through 24. So the numbers will just wrap around. You'll sign up and then you'll put your paper with the number that you are going on the desk in numerical order. Does that make sense? If not, you pose that as a question later. But all students are going to sign up for the board or for their presentation on that first day. I want you to get to class 10 minutes early, and so I know that our class starts at 1 and 10, but really try to get there as early as possible since we're having everybody sign up. All the individuals who are going on the 15th, at this time, you are going to be pulling up any type of visual aid materials that you are going to need on the computer. Remember, if I am not there, to your right, there is a sign from the LMU ITS help and it gives you the password to sign into that computer without having to be an instructor or have any type of credentials. So you can just log into that at your leisure. Log in and start pulling up anything that you're going to need. Um, so what do you need? Well, the presentation is going to be quite short in its self because we don't have a lot of time to get through everybody and we don't want to go through our entire papers. So what I want you to do is choose one specific aha moment that you had while going through the process of writing this paper. The aha moment I stole, I think I said, from Oprah, an idea where it's this moment of, oh my gosh, I can't believe it, I never saw it before, or oh, I realize why that is now, or oh my goodness, no way was that happening. Those are your aha moments. So what was your biggest aha moment? So how you'll start your presentation is, like it says here on the description, and again, you can go back to the content page uh, under week one to look at the description for this project. But what I want you to do is start off by introducing yourself to the class, and then you're going to talk about which part of the socialization process was your biggest aha moment. So let's say it was during, like, I don't know, um, external socialization or organizations. And then what you're going to do is you're going to describe what happened and detail that a bit. If you deem that you need some support from, again, the Harrow or the Woods readings, feel free to reference them within your presentation. And then what I want you to do for that particular aha moment is create with it some type of visual representation. What is it that we can see about this socialization process? You can make a collage, you can maybe bring in some type of photo montage, you can put together something on a computer, you can draw something, anything that you want that is going to visually represent this socialization aspect. So maybe you are talking about the enforcements and you could uh, represent that visually for us in some way, shape, or form. Are you going to be graded on this as an art project? Absolutely not. But oftentimes we can work through our process and work through our understanding in a way other than simply writing. Many of our ideas or our breakthroughs or even our own aha moments sometimes come through the creation of art. So I like to combine the two for this presentation. Again, nobody's grading you on like, if you've drawn in the lines or if there's color or if you, your collage is better than someone else. No. My important part of what you're being graded on, on is your content and your connection to the material. So think about what that aha moment is and how you would like to visually communicate that to us. So once you show us or tell us your name, reveal the socialization moment, talk about what it is, what part of the socialization, what happened, describe your visual imagery, 
and then go ahead and move on to the conclusion portion of the presentation, which, again, if you'll refer back to your prompt <clears throat> in your presentation by writing your action or direction for change, either this semester, and it doesn't have to be a full plan. It can be, like I said before, just a jumping off point of something that you're looking forward to doing or learning how to do or that you want more information for. This is not only a help to you, but it's a help to me. And it's a help to me to help guide this class a little bit more individually. Because it's a small sized class, it allows for an opportunity for both of us to work on a one-on-one -on -one basis. And hopefully I can help assist you in finding different ways that you can maybe assert yourself better or perchance ways that you can uh, be an advocate for others. Whatever your choices or whatever you maybe see yourself wanting to do, I can assist you along the way. Oh, what would you like to do to learn to make the change? That's what we're saying. So I hope that this all makes sense to you. What I am going to do is I'm going to create a discussion board, and you can find that in the discussion board section of our class. And while we're speaking, I'll go ahead and start to do that. I'm going to just create a discussion board uh, here. And that discussion board is going to be for all of you to have socialization project questions post by, and I am going to put that we should have all these questions posted by, mm, let's say, let me see. Let me get a date. If your projects do the 16th and 17th, let's have them all posted by Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> the 9th at midnight. This will allow me the opportunity to go ahead and address any questions that you may have in class before you have to go into the weekend and really make sure that you're doing it. So any questions that you have, you can always post here, check back. I'll try to check them periodically, but if we haven't answered them, I will get to them Wednesday or Thursday in class on the 10th. I hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your afternoon and a good weekend, and I will speak with you all soon. Bye.